Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So I'm Hello Buddy. So this video is, uh, is talking like a tuition video. We're talking about the STPM Biology Semester 3 explanation video. So if you had heard, learned, saw my video last time, uh, that was my first video for explanation like a tuition video. So now I will proceed to another topic for SCPM Biology Semester 3. So I hope this video can help you guys. Okay, so this video will talk about the uh, chapter 1 of Semester 3. Uh, yes, chapter 14 that is concept of species. So actually, if you had saw my video last time, it's talking about the importance of taxonomy. So now we'll proceed to concept of species. Okay. So in the importance of taxonomy, you have learned that one of the important is to classify all of the living organisms in the world become taxon, right? So in this species concept, concept, uh, make a scientist more confusion because they do the they. Uh, scientists want to define species is uh, have many confusion and ma many difficulty. So actually, in scientists, they have three major species concept. That is biological species, uh, typolo typological and or morphological species, and phylogenetic species. But in taxonomy, they well, we are more focusing on biological species. Not say that these two species concept are wrong, but it is not suitable for taxonomy one. Uh, and for biological species, that is uh, the former designation is the species is defined as group of interbreeding natural population which are reproductively isolated from other groups. Maybe you see this definition. Eh? What what are he talking about? Never mind. So you see this. Uh, this one actually is very uh, clear uh, to understand. On the other word, species is a group of population whose members have the potential to interbreed with each other to na in nature to produce viable and fertile offspring. Okay, this means that one of the group of population, like a human, I use human as example, is more easy. Human, human are one other population, right? So the human actually have the potential to interbreed with each other, right? Like a male. Male can interbreed with each other to female, right? Uh, they have the potential. Ada keupayaannya untuk interbreed with female, right? Okay, in nature. Uh, in nature, tak ada pasangannya. Uh, saya sesuka hati nak buat, uh, buat nak interbreed to you. Okay, and then they can produce viable and fertile offspring. Viable means that the offspring, the baby, like a baby for human is baby, baby can live like a human. It has the long lifespan. They are uh, not like the uh, baby that only can survive one year, two years, then it could die already. No, it is viable. And then fer uh, fertile, fertile. Fertile. Fertile means that it, the baby, after uh, it becomes adult, it can interbreed with each other again and produce another offspring. Ha. Means like that. Lah. Ha. Maknanya, dia akan uh, ke keupayaan akan ada sex dengan, dengan lain then uh, produce the baby yang baby lain juga. Ha. You must consider this. So the first thing you are meet the most important is species. It is has the potential to interpret each other in nature, and then the baby produce must viable and fertile. Ha, it must uh, fully uh, fully uh, achieve this requirement so that we can consider it is species. If not, that that. Organism is not species. You have to, you have to uh, remember this. If not fulfill this requirement, that organism is not considered as species. Okay. So, but in this definition for biological species definition, it cannot be applied to the organism that we produce asexually. 
if you see this definition, it want to interpret and each other and to produce viable and fertile offspring. But in asexually organism, they do not have interbreed process. They are uh, like a bacteria, like a bacteria. The bacteria can reproduce asexually. Their uh, bacteria itself can reproduce itself, and then it will produce re- uh, produce more and more uh, type of bacteria. Uh, it do not, does not like a human want to interbreed with others. Then baru boleh baru boleh lahirkan baby. Bacteria don't need. Uh, so bacteria considered as cannot uh, the this species concept cannot apply for bacteria and also others repro- uh, organisms that we produce asexual. Okay, so this video hopefully uh, this part hopefully can understand. Okay. okay, for example, if you if you I don't know you guys got see this example or not, like is horse interbreed with donkey, then it will produce another species another organism called meal huh. but if you see this it is sterile sterile what what is mean by sterile sterile means this organism cannot interbreed with each other and cannot produce offspring huh. so from this from the definition for biological species so horse and donkey are totally different species although they have same genus if, the, if you see the host species name is equus cabalus and donkey is equus ancinus but they are totally different species because they although they can interbreed with each other and naturally but the org- the organism the baby like baby they produce is sterile uh, sterile uh, sterile means that this Organisms are not viable and not fertile. Uh, it is viable. Uh, sorry, it is viable, but it is not fertile. Uh, fertile. Uh, beca- uh, because it cannot reproduce to produce another species like a meal. Right? Uh, it cannot like a meal. It can well, It cannot interbreed with meal and then produce another meal. Cannot. Uh, it is the Be- means that this meal cannot or no and. Uh, does not have any interbreed if he die uh, it will totally lie dia tak ada ada dia tak ada ada cucuk cucuk ni lah macam horse dia ada cucuk cucuk ni kan tapi mew ni dia tak ada cucuk punya ha dia dia mati ha, dia akan mati mah mati lah tak ada baby lah ha, macam keluarga satu keluarga kalau awak tak ada kahwin kan kalau uh, kalau ada, ada awak ya lah ayat anak tunggal awak tak ada kahwin tak ada anak mas maknanya keluarga awak sudah tak ada cucuk uh, ini ini pun sama mew mew they do not have ability to interbreed with each other so that's why it call as sterva okay so hopefully you can understand so from this the definition of biological species Mew cannot consider a species, and from um, and also horse and donkey are totally different species. Ha. They are totally different species. Ha. Okay, okay. Next will be the morphological or topolo- typological species. This one you just see only lah. Be as considered as extra information for you so the species can be differentiated from other species by their physical feature and can be identified by their morphological attributes so that for this uh, definition means that what what if one organism can consider a species if this species can be differentiated from other species by their physical feature so that if they have same same physical feature or oh, that kind is one species as considered as same species and same species like that lah. so this kind of concept uh, is the the earliest concept for scientists to define the species concept but uh, now the day many scientists do not not to agree for this statement lah. so you just see see lah. Okay, another one is phylogenetic species concept this com- species concept is based on the Ancestor. Ancestor is uh, bahasa Melayu nenek moyang. Uh, based on the nenek moyang. Uh, 
macam uh, yang awak tengok macam siapa uh, macam elephant lah elephant awak uh, many organism are based on the species is a group of organism who share a common ancestor means that means that based on the, like a species nenek moyangnya macam ni ha uh, macam ni dan okay so that it has the same macam ada sama saja mereka uh, the characteristic almost same so that kind is a uh, consider as same species ini macam ni lah ya yeah, konsep dia macam ni lah okay okay ah uh, ini yang paling important lah before you proceed to the uh, taxonomy hierarchy this is the most important i think this one semester two or uh, last chapter you already maybe your teacher already teach you how to write the species name but maybe you already forget so this one is very important in examination you have to write in handwritten form ha uh, write handwritten form you must write correctly Okay, so writing species name, as for example, I use this example and this Abobitus. This is one of the, uh, if you familiar, it is the, uh, uh, to Nyamo Edis. Uh, Nyamo Edis, one of the example of Nyamo Edis, uh, Mosquito Edis. Okay, so and this Abobitus. And this, this, this means it is the genus name. Okay, Abob, uh, if the if the at this plus one more word called abobitus it will become species name ha. so species name it is unique to this to this mosquito only ha, to that kind of mosquito only if the uh, if it is not abobitus it changed to another name it will another species so you have to be careful at this if only have at this means it is genus name if have Two words at this abobitus, it is the species name. Okay, for computing, computing is very easy. Computing, so the first letter of genus must capital. If you see that the first letter, it must capital one. And then while others are small letter. If you even see this species, this A is small letter A, not capital A. If you write capital A, it's wrong. So, but and for computing, it must in italic form. Uh, yang senget-senget punya dia akan ada senget punya kan ha, inilah for computer but in hand return tak, awak, hand return awak tak perlu buat macam ni oh, uh, uh, sengaja buat dia senget tak perlu for hand return also the first letter you also have to write in capital capital word and other is small letter the just different for computing computer is italic for for hand return it must be underlined underline you don't need to you don't need to write like the computer phone sengat sengat punya you just like the former the normal one but you have to underline the words all of the word uh, and this computer you have to underline it uh, so it is very important to write the species name uh, so if you write wrongly although your spelling is correct but in examination it is considered wrong because you are not right in uh, form a uh, former former way so you have to alert uh, for this uh. okay so that's all for this video uh, so hope you guys can scan this feedback form uh, to make me so that I will know that uh, what are the problem in this video and uh, you can write anything lah any opinion any comment or you have to praise me also can okay so that's it for this video thank you